Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I actually just had my last final exam for the semester, um, and I'm free for now at least. So I thought I'd bring you around Hill College House, which is the dorm where I live. Um, it's comprised of only first year students, so there are a lot of facilities that are here available for freshman students. So today, I will be taking you around, and so if you want to know more about what Hill College House or maybe college houses at Penn in general are like, just make sure to keep on watching. Let's go! So this is Hill College House. It looks kind of like a prison on the outside, but inside, I promise you, is a lot nicer. So in order to actually get into the College House and use all the services there, um, you have to be a pen student with a pen ID. So to get in, you type in your pack code and then swipe your card. Hill has five levels, each with four different colours, and those are surrounding the middle area that we call the atrium. On the bottom level is the dining hall, which is closed right now, but usually it's bustling with people and energy. To actually get down to the dining hall, we take the stairs that were under the red sofas, and yeah, you just swipe your card in, and then it's a buffet style where you can just basically pick out anything you want. On the bottom level is also the Hill College House office, um, where you can ask any questions to the Dean. But now I'm going to take you through to the Club Lounge, which is overlooking the atrium. So the Club Lounge is a great way for people to come in and socialise, play some games, and there's also a kitchen there. Sometimes clubs will hold events here, um, or if guest speakers are coming, it's a great way um, for people to congregate as well. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Christine's not here right now, but she'll be back. Hey guys, subscribe below. Hi guys, my name is Christine Jang. I'm a student at the University of Pennsylvania. I live in Hale. I'm an Acon major. Have fun and subscribe. <laughs> Those things bulging out of the walls are floor lounges opposite the club lounge is the study lounge, open 24 hours. The study lounge is a really convenient place to, of course, study um, and watch memes, may I add. Um, especially on a really cold day when it's snowing or it's raining, students can come in and use the study spots like the individual study areas or the group study rooms as well as the reading uh, areas that are on the sides. Okay, so I thought I'd show you some of the social spaces specific to each colour on each floor. This is the lounge that each floor has and it comes with couches, tables, um, as well as a TV. Each floor also gets a communal kitchen with tables, sinks and a lot of storage space. Um, and by having your own lounge and social space, you get the ability to personalise it as well. So this is an example of what some groups have done. Each floor also has an RA, someone who is older um, and is someone who we can ask questions to. So each floor colour has their communal bathrooms, which are private rooms of showers and toilets. Yeah, you never really want someone walking in on you naked. Glad that hasn't happened. Anyway, so they all have private doors with locks. Um, and then in the bathrooms, you get all the essential bathroom things. That is kind of disgusting. Yeah, OCD is kicking in, so I'm going to flush this. The fourth floor has a couple of communal centres, including the fitness centre and kitchen. So let's go to the fitness centre first. The gym has, I guess, all the essential equipment that you'd need. However, students can still go to um, Pot Truck Gym, which is Penn's gym, which has a lot more um, equipment as well and is much bigger. Excuse this, I just wanted to have a bit of fun. Next to the gym is the multi-purpose room. So sometimes people will just grab a mat and do abs or um, have a dance class in here. Next to the gym is a terrace where you can just go outside and chill out, relax for a bit and it overlooks the atrium. It's closed in the winter months but in the summer it's so relaxing. So 
basically now we are in the Liverpool kitchen and this is where a lot of um, appliances are held, um, stove tops, ovens, microwaves, fridges, um, and students, RAs, GAs are all able to use the services here. Um, there are also a lot of tables where people can um, hang out, study, um, hold club events or their hall events as well. So yeah, just a really um, open communal space for people to use. Back on the atrium level, there are three music practice rooms that students can use. Ten years of piano did nothing for my musical ability because I still suck. Mum would be proud. Onto the very ground level is the laundry room. There are washing machines, dryers, um, and you just have to bring your own laundry detergent um, and dry sheets if you use them. So to actually use the machine, you just click the amount of soil, the temperature of the water, and then you just click start and it does its thing. Back on the atrium level is also the mail centre. So each person has their own mailbox where their letters um, are in place. And if you do order anything online, this is where packages will arrive for you to pick up as well. Hill has two drinking fountains where you can fill up your bottles and the rubbish bins are all separated by recycling and landfill. But for now, let's head back to my room. So I'm back in my room now and if you've stayed until now, Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, and make sure you subscribe to this channel as well so you know when I'm going to post my next video. My next video is going to be a tour of this exact room, my freshman year dorm. If you want to see an overview of the entire room, please make sure to subscribe so you know when that is going to come out. But for now though, I'm going to play you a very tiny snippet of this dorm tour so I will let that play right now. <laughs> Please leave a comment, especially if you are part of the Penn 2023 class. Um, we're really excited to see you on campus, but for now, I'm on my way to winter break, and see you soon. Bye!